Hello everybody and welcome to my sixth Microsoft Access tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to link databases together um, by linking the tables. Um, so I've created another two databases um, and I've put them in the same folder. Um, you'll notice that I've got the customers one as I had before and then I've made a north and a south one and it's just going to represent south sales and north sales. Um, you might also be wondering why there's these three files down here. Um, these are just files that Microsoft Access creates um, when you when when someone's within um, the, the database um, and it's just showing that someone's connected to it and it will use it to um, use it to to tell who's who's logged in so this one's just got Ma Matthew laptop it's got my username logged in and then it's got the reason I'm logged in on it um, so that's what those are uh, so I've made the uh, let's find the customer database um, so customers so customers have still got the customers in it um, and then North has the North sales and then uh, South will have the South sales. Um, I'm going to get rid of some of the ones from the South sales um, and then I'm also going to get rid of some of the ones from the North sales. Cool. So they're split in half. Um, essentially what I'm going to want to do, so the, the north and the south essentially represent the same thing um, but you've got the same customers bopping back and forth from each one. So we want to have the the customers so that it shows in both north uh, and south and we want it so that if it's updated in one of them it's also updated in other ones and, and the central one. Um, so the way we do this, so let's go into north uh, and go to new link table okay uh, and then it'll ask you where the database is that you want to link so I'm going to click on customers and click on link and then it'll show all your tables from this from uh, the, the, the database you selected uh, click OK and there you are it's it's now come in as a table um, so we can close customers off now let's get rid of that um, and then when you double click on this it's brought through all the information um, let's do the same in south so new link table ok and then we need to go to customers link customers ok um, and then again it's got another person here so if I uh, let's get rid of Turner um, I don't want that there anymore cross that off if I then go into North and go into Customers, you'll notice that the Turner's gone as well. So it's updated in both databases. Um, and if we open Customers back up, um, then you'll also notice it's changed in there. So it updates it everywhere. Um, and this is really useful because now we've got, two, even though we've got two separate databases separating North and South, um, they both still got that live link through to customers. So if we want to update customers for all the databases, we just go into customers um, and we'd update it in here and it will update all the way through. Um, so that's a really useful way if you've got lots of databases that all need to reference the same information of just linking them in um, like that. That's it for this tutorial and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial when I'm going to start looking at queries.